He was pink and he was see-through. He was so tiny, like the end of my thumb. And he just had little white spikes sticking through. You couldn't tell it was a hedgehog. It felt like nothing was there. I was holding him, but I didn't really feel that weight because it's such a small amount. And even when I was feeding him, I would wrap him in a towel and I had to be really careful that he didn't slip out. When I first heard about him, there was a girl that had bred a litter of hedgehogs. I contacted her and I told her that I could do some research and get her some information and help her with him. And she said she didn't have the time to do it, so I would come and take him and bottle feed him myself. And honestly, I didn't really think he was gonna make it. As soon as I got him home, I put him on a heating pad. I never left him alone. I let him sleep next to my bed, and every time he would squeak for the first few nights, I would jump up and I would feed him because I was very worried about him. I didn't want him to feel like he was alone. I've never had a hedgehog before, and I jumped on Google to figure out what to feed him. He's not something that a lot of people have information about, so you can Google how to take care of an orphan hedgehog, and you'll find all different kinds of answers. It's very challenging to know, like, am I doing the right thing? She was able to give me some advice on what to feed him. They require a lot of special things that other animals don't. He had a lot of dead skin on his back, and with those spikes there, it's very difficult to clean it. With the coconut oil, I would just put a little bit on the toothbrush, and then I would brush his back with it, and he surprisingly loved it. They were very difficult to take care of. It was exhausting, but really worth it to see him growing. I would weigh him and I would see that he was about 8 grams and then two days later he was about 10 grams. So when I saw that he was growing, I was just very excited, you know, like maybe he has a chance. Once he started eating solid food, it was like a huge weight lifted off my shoulders and I'm like, you made it buddy. He started growing even more rapidly. Wilbur's definitely entered the toddler phase. He's running around a lot, getting into everything. He loves to be held. He's very cuddly. When he's tired especially, we can just sit down and watch movies together and he'll just flop down next to me and sleep. He definitely feels very comfortable. I live on a ranch out in Texas. I've rescued many, many different animals. <laughs> Other animals don't feel threatened by him. There's so many that need help, and there's just not a lot of people that know how to take care of them properly. If you can help all these ones that are in these rescues, there may not ever be a need for people to continue breeding so many. I'm so thankful for every day that I get with Wilbur. Every day with him was a gift.